Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, welcome to this week where I feel like I didn't do very much, but let me explain um, what I have been doing. Um, but before we get into that, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, thank you all for helping me uh, reserve and spend the time on Inkscape, uh, time that Inks the Inkscape pro project really deserves to have spent on it to make sure that these things get fixed. Um, and the, the, let's just say like the design meets the expectations of the, the, the users. Okay. Um, so the reason why I said that I might, I feel like I didn't really get much done is because I've been spending my entire week basically researching, uh, experimenting, and dealing with PDF. So um, I wanted to focus on researching PDF because I want to be able to do the CMYK stuff, but there's a lot to the PDF spec and Inkscape's implementation of both opening and saving PDF isn't great, I would say. Um, and there's a lot of developers who don't want to touch it because it's very delicate. And I can completely understand why because I have touched it a lot this week and it is very delicate. Um, so I focused on PDF opening. So this is where you have either a, an AI file or a native PDF and you open them in Inkscape. And uh, the idea was to be able to um, read in the layers, um, not produce a gajillion groups, uh, retain visibility of layers, like whether they were visible or not, and retain the uh, locations of all the objects on the screen and basically investigate like how we are producing these SVGs out of PDF. Um, I did actually manage to do all the layers work. Um, I, the, we use this technology called Poplar, uh, which is a way of reading PDF files, and it's quite complicated and a bit cum cum cumbersome, um, but I managed to use it to be able to pick out the catalog, uh, research its interface, get involved with like how it's dealing with all these data stru structures, and there's a lot of things going on. Um, I may do a call out for more um, PDF files um, that people have so that I can test this code because I'm going to break a lot of shit. Like rewriting some of this code is going to be important. Like we're currently using in the existing Inkscape um, groups, lots and lots of groups in order to maintain state. And that ca we cannot do that. It's just not an effective way of um, trying to retain the information. But when you stop doing that, you need to have to, you need to track the tra the translations and other bits of information properly. And that's where things get delicate. Um, currently I've managed to produce SVG, uh, SVG files which have upside down text, uh, reflected text, text that's in 72 dots per inch instead of 96 dots per inch, and many other fla flavors of, uh, of problematic output. Um, so that, that work is going to continue. I'm going to be continue to try and produce a version of the PDF opener that can uh, successfully retain layers and uh, work with a bunch of different types of PDF files, including things like rotation and translation and stuff. Um, I did actually produce some other fixes though. So uh, I produced a fix for the for the undo key. Sometimes the undo gets stuck and uh, you can undo multiple um, moves and color change changes and other things, even though you've selected a new object, uh, that's been fixed. I uh, fixed the rotate buttons. This is the action keys that are on the select to toolbar. Before it was rotating individual objects, it should be rotating all of the objects as one as one object. That's been fixed. That was an ad uh, advisory from the user experience team, which I agree with. Um, I did remove the crop marks from. Uh, the page tool because uh, under review they turned out not to be that useful. Um, I may go back and, find, and and grab that code back in to produce PDF output, but it's not it's not as useful for the display. Um, I mean, I thought it looked nice, but uh, you some some sometimes you have to sacrifice work to to keep things clean and non confusing for 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 users. Um, okay, so. That's essentially what I've been up to. Um, I kind of want to get something done though, like something to show show you guys. But you, as long as you'll bear with me, 
that this PDF work is going to be useful and this slow road to CMYK is worth uh, ha hanging around for. Uh, let's get into the news from uh, other Inkscape contributors. This is features and fixes that I didn't do. Uh, we've got actually an exciting week because uh, Mykov, who you might know has done some quite impressive features in the past, has delivered a bunch of work this, this, this week. He did an improvement to the XML editor to make it responsive uh, and the filters editor he's kind of redone the fil filters editor uh, with the help of uh, Adam and I think Eliza Creative was involved in that in that one um, but they hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, chat messages discussing this uh, improvement and um, obviously the filters uh, blend modes I should say in the uh, objects and layers di dialogue. If you saw the tweets for that, it's really exciting stuff. I really enjoy having that uh, layers di dialogue just added some of those features back in uh, and, it, and it's merged now, so that's great. Um, I wanted to point out uh, Silicon, uh, which is a fun name. Um, he did a small fix to improve the device skates and scaling in the filter slots. Uh, Nathan Lee has been back port porting things for 1.2.2. One, 1 uh, nice work, Nathan. Uh, PBS continues his dialogue refactoring work and some other clean cleanup work for, for memory management. And I did want to point out, uh, I think it's Yuka, Yuka Kachi, who did a Japanese translation. He's basically updated the J Japanese translation um, because there's a lot of translators out there who they do a lot of work, and I don't think I mentioned them enough on these videos. So excellent work. Um, and that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you for joining me for this video. Uh, please let me know in the com comments what you think of the um, the kind of thing you want to see with PDF. I think I think I understand what what needs to happen, but the more comments you give me now, the more cost correction I can do and not go into some blind alley or something. So please do contribute. I'm I'm interested to hear your views. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week.